Days after the opposition's meet in Patna, Union Home Minister Amit Shah addressed a large rally in Bihar's Lakhi Sarai, highlighting the achievements of the nine-year Modi government at the centre. He also criticised the previous Congress governments, highlighting their lack of response to attacks by Pakistani-inspired terrorists. Shah commended PM Modi's swift response to the Pulwama and Uri attack, emphasising that within 10 days, PM Modi took the necessary actions. External Affairs Minister S. Jashankar held bilateral talks with Philippines Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo in New Delhi today. The two leaders discussed a number of key areas of cooperation including trade and investment, defence and health, medicine, agriculture and others. During the delegation-level talks, the External Affairs Minister highlighted the necessity to stabilise the Indo-Pacific and importance of the rule of law and promoting inclusive multilateralism. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's convoy on route Churachandpur in violence hit Manipur was halted by local police at a check post near Bishnupur due to security concerns. The Manipur police expressed fears of potential violence and said that the convoy could be mistaken for a group of attackers. Meanwhile, BJP launched a scathing attack on Rahul Gandhi, saying that he's just a political opportunist who wants to keep the pot boiling. Ethnic clashes in Manipur since May 3rd have tragically claimed over 130 lives till now. After posters featuring Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan, which purportedly say pay 50% commission and get your work done, digital payments company PhonePay objected to the use of its logo on the posters, calling it unauthorized use of its logo by the Madhya Pradesh Congress and warned it that it may take legal actions against them. Posters of Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan were put up by the Congress across the capital Bhopal, accusing him of doing work in exchange of money. During the 9th BRICS Environment Minister's meeting, Union Minister of Environment Bhupendra Yadav urged the member nations to swiftly implement effective climate measures and enhance their commitment to save the planet. Held virtually under the presidency of South Africa under the theme Advancing Environmental Cooperation Amongst BRICS Towards the Attainment of 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, Yadav representing India emphasized the significance of the BRICS Environment MOU's implementation plan in facilitating the exchange of knowledge and best practices. The World Bank has granted Sri Lanka a significant funding package of 700 million US dollars, the biggest funding tranche for the crisis-hit island nation since an international monetary fund deal in March. Out of this, approximately 500 million US dollars will be allocated for the budgetary assistance, while the remaining 200 million will be dedicated to welfare support for those affected by the ongoing financial crisis. The U.S. Coast Guard revealed that human remains are believed to have been found from the wreckage of the Titan sub that imploded underwater during a dive into the Titanic wreck. The announcement came after the recovered debris from the Titanic collected from the ocean floor at the depth of over 12,000 feet in the North Atlantic had arrived in St. John's, Newfoundland. The twisted sections of the submersible were offloaded at a Canadian Coast Guard pier. It will be crucial for finding the cause of implosion which claimed the lives of all five individuals aboard. France has been witnessing widespread unrest and protests following the fatal shooting of a 17-year-old boy during a traffic stop. While President Emmanuel Macron called the shooting inexplicable and unforgivable, the teenager's death has sparked outrage and grief among celebrities and politicians. Nahil, who was of North African descent, is the second person this year in France to have been killed in a police shooting during a traffic stop. Last year, a record 13 people died in this way. Uttar Pradesh Police registered an FIR in connection with the incident in which Bhim Army Chief Chandrasekhar Azad was shot at by unidentified assailants in Deoband. The condition of Azad, the leader of Azad Samaj Party, was hospitalized after the shooting incident is now reported to be stable. Azad's convoy was attacked by armed men in Saharanpur district of Uttar Pradesh on June 28. 
Ahead of the annual Amarnath Yatra starting on July 1st, a significant number of pilgrims have arrived at the Yatri Nivas base camp in Jammu. The first batch of enthusiastic pilgrims were seen in long queues outside the base camp, surrounded by tight security measures. Spanning 62 days, the revered pilgrimage holds great significance for Hindus who seek the blessings of Lord Shiva at the Amarnath cave, believed to be the abode of Lord Shiva. After successfully implementing the landmark Hockey India Coaches Education Pathway that benefited schools of aspiring coaches in the country, the National Sports Federation has now launched a holistic Hockey India Match Officials Education and Development Plan to empower aspiring umpires and technical officials. Hockey India, through this initiative, aims to develop and educate the umpires and technical officials currently officiating at the district and state level tournaments.